Hello and welcome to one of our, another video where I'll be doing another C++ tutorial. This time I'm going to introduce you to loops. But before I do, I'm going to ask you to like, click that like on this video, subscribe to my video and my channel, and share my channel and video far and wide. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to loops in C++. So, loops are also known as iteration. So, iteration, it's a programming construct. So, it's like sequences, we're just doing inputs and outputs, and decisions, which is your if statements. Ifs, else, ifs, else, and so on. Iteration is repeating the execution of a block of program code. There are in C++, there's while loops, for loops, and there's do while loops. But in this case, we're just going to be going over while loops. So a while loop is a control flow statement that allows code to be executed repeatedly based on a given Boolean condition. So what? So the while loop can be thought of as repeating an if statement as the if statement is executed only once. So here's an example I'm going to walk through with you. So let's say we have to type in a number. And it has to be, and it has to be less than or greater. It has to be less than or equal to five. So I would do int num initialize that to zero. And then what I will do is I will see out and say enter a number. Nice and easy. Then we're going to see in num. Nice and easy, basic input and output, very basic stuff. What I'm going to type in now is while num, and then in brackets you've got num, is less than or equal to. So you need the less than or equal to comparison operator, and let's say it's less than or equal to 5. You squiggly brackets like you do as normal. And then I'm going to see out, asking the user to enter another number, and I'm going to see that in. Because it because it's not met the condition of it being over that. And then what we're going to do is outside of the while loop, we're going to say what the number was. So let's go to run it. So enter a number and I'm going to enter one. It's going to make me ask enter another number because it's lower than five, two, three, four, or lower than five. I'm going to enter a five because it's equal to five. So even if I type in five, it's going to make me enter a number. So let's say I enter a nine. Because it's greater than five, it's going to stop. Okay. So that. So this is the essence of how we would make a while loop in C++. So you've got while. Then in brackets, we've got the variable tied in with this num variable. And we've got your less than or equal to 5. We're just going to work out while it's, while it's less than or equal to 5, it's going to keep asking the user to enter the number. And once they enter any number over 5, then it's going to go into the C out and saying what the last number was that they've printed. Okay? So that is the essence of the while loop. Let's try a few tasks, shall we? So let's have a look at this entire code up here. Yep, so we've got a nice bit of given code there. And we won't need a string or anything like that. We don't need any of it. I'm going to do end line just to make it look nice. And this is what we got. So, so I've copied the code in the replit. And we need to see what this while loop is actually doing. So, the while loop. 
is going to make me type in any number that's less while the total is less than or equal to 50. So I'm going to enter 12. I have to enter 12. Can't do that. So I'm going to enter. So I'm going to enter 12 and I'm going to enter 38. I'm going to enter 38, 49. I'm going to enter 50, but it's still going to make me enter a number again. As soon as I enter 51, because it's over 50, it's going to say goodbye. So that is what the while loop will do. Forget the fact that we've got zeros there. So what I should have done was total, was total plus the number. But we don't need to worry about that so much. Okay, we just need to see how this loop is actually going to work. So, we type in a number under 50, it's going to make us keep typing. If it's over 50, then the code is going to stop. Why is it good to use a while loop in this case? because we don't know how many times a user is going to type in a number that will keep making us repeat it, that will make the code repeat all the time. We don't know how many times we're going to do it. So in a while loops, we in while loops we don't know how many times the code is going to repeat. When we go on the for loops, you know how many times it's going to be repeated. For while loops, you don't. So that is why it's good to use a, a while loop. Okay, let's try another task, shall we? Nice and easy, nice basic stuff. Let's say we are to ask a user to input a number. If that number is more than 10, we display it's too high and ask them to keep trying again and input another number. And we keep repeating that loop until they enter a number which is less than or equal to 10. How are we going to work this one out? Easy int val c out enter a number okay then we're going to see in val is going to be while val is less than or equal to 10 or in this case it's actually going to be more than or equal to 10 so we would do greater than or equal to so it's shift and full stop and then the equals to get you greater than comparison operator. And then what we do, squiggly brackets, and then I'll indent for you. So we're going to see out too high, enter another number. Okay, so then we're going to see in val again. So we're going to keep doing that until it's entered. And then we and then we can just see out value under 10 is. And then we can say val and we can just end L, which is ending the line. So let's have a look and see how this works. So I'm going to enter a number. That is greater than 10. So we don't need the equal to, we just need greater than 10. So let's run the code and let's have a look and see what we can do. So I'm going to enter 11, it's too high, 12, too high, 13, 14. So every number I put is too high. If I was to put a 10, that's fine. Because if it's more than 10, it's too high. If I was to put a 9, that will be fine. So that is our code there. Okay? So that's our code. Use it to keep repeating the number until they enter a number which is less than or equal to 10. That's fine. That's not a problem. Let's try the next one. Uh, 
and that's the comp num. So we need to create a variable called comp num and set that to 50. Ask user to enter a number. What I guess is not the same as a comp num value. Tell him if their guess is too low or too high and ask him to have another guess. If they enter the same value, it's very well done. Otherwise, just say how many, att and say how many attempts it took. So we need the guess and comp num. So we're going to bung that in our replit. So what we will need now is a variable called comp num and then initialize that to 50. So we've got the comp num variable nice and ready. With the guess, you're asking the user to enter a number. Enter a number, int equals guess. So we need another variable called guest. So we can do guess, comma, and then comp num equals to 50. So we've got the guess variable and we got the comp num. Now what we need to do is while guess is not equal to comp num. It's because you want, so while it's not equal to, so then you do squiggly brackets like normal. And then you just do something like that. Too low, too high. And then you do count. And then what you do there, you make them add another guess. And then outside that, so outside the if else statement and in the while loop, we're going to do count equals count plus one. And we're going to make the user enter another number and make them guess something else. And then once we've done that, we're going to go out of the while loop and we're just going to do, you took this many attempts. So let's run it. So comp num is 50. And yes, it will take some time to load. I'm going to see what's wrong with this. So let's run that again. Enter a number. So I'm going to enter 51. Too high. 49. Too low. 12. Too low. 78. Too high. Enter 50. It's going to. It's taken me five attempts to do that. So if I was to just say. So if I was just to say 50. One attempt. I also say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, ninety-one, fifty, twenty-two attempts. So you can do as many attempts as you like, but unless we type in fifty, it's going to count up how many attempts it took. So in this case. It has taken 22 attempts to get the comp num right. Okay. So that is the essence of this whole code here. Okay. See how many of those to do. Otherwise, it will take another video to do. Let's try this last one before we end the video. So in this one, we need to write a C++ program. We're using the song 10 green bottles standing on the wall. And we're displaying, we're displaying the line, number of green bottles on the wall. 
and that number of green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one were to accident, should accident four? Then we ask the question, how many green bottles will be hanging on the wall? If your user answers correctly, display the message there'll be that many left on the wall. If it's incorrectly, you just say no, try again until they get it right. They're all normal, and then if they get down to zero, you say that there are no more green bottles. So this is the starting code we need. Okay. So there's our starting code. So it's going to ask us, right, how many green bottles are hanging on the wall? And then what we're going to need is a bunch of C-outs. Bunch of C-outs and C-ins all in the wall loop. And then it's going to ask you, okay, how many is on the wall? Then you're going to do C-in. Answer. And there we go. So that's the answer there. And then what we need, we will now need if statement. So if the answer is equal to num, say how many there will be, otherwise it's going to be no, try again. So let's have a go. Let's have a go and see what how this is going to work. So it's 10 green bottles. If all, I'm going to say 11, 12, 13. It's not met that condition, so I've got to try again. So I'll say 8, nope, 9, <laughs> fine. Then 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 22. It's 22. It's bloody 22. Can't have that. So it's 2. I'm going to mention four. Four's a wrong answer. Three's a wrong answer. Two's a wrong answer. Now press one and then press zero. And there we go. So that is the working of the green bot of the green bottles program here. Okay. So it's asking. So saying how many there are already, and if one was to fall, those two, so they will output the same number. Then I'll be happy if one green bottle were to fall. You're decrementing now. So decrement is num minus one. So that's decrementing, so it's going down. In the previous task, we had count equals count plus one. So if you see that, like count. So if it was num plus one, you're incrementing up by one. But in this case, we're decrementing, so we're going down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how. This task actually works like this. Voila. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to hit that like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this channel and video far and wide. And I look forward to making the next video, video for you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.